Hello investors and crypto fanatics. Um, first, uh, something to correct. Uh, my last video was in January, uh, the 1st of January 2015. We are today the 10th, uh, April the 10th. Uh, so uh, three months further, a good three months. Um, NXT has uh, gone down and Bitcoin also. Uh, today Bitcoin is $230, dollars 35 on Bitstamp and NXT is today one cent a coin, a total market capitalization of 10 million, 10.5 million. Um, uh, the bottom uh, was uh, for Bitcoin $150. Uh, already reached a few weeks after my video um, uh, all in January somewhere um, and NXT has uh, is still uh, at the bottom uh, it has gone down in Bitcoin value today it is 4,500 Satoshi but it was only uh, a week ago about 4,000 Satoshi that was the bottom um, uh, and in the fiat, uh, it's about 10 uh, million that has been the bottom for uh, NXT up until today. Um, mm, uh, in my last video, I said that I um, I was um, uh, having a portfolio now that is very concentrated in cryptocurrency, about 80-90%. Uh, the majority in NXT uh, and then uh, the other part in B uh, Bitcoin and also a little bit in Clumps uh, which is a new uh, proof of stake coin that is used um, uh, but it does have inflation uh, that coin but um, it is uh, just dies uh, a famous um, uh, website in the crypto sphere uh, has uh, used to be on Bitcoin and now works only with clamps. So um, uh, I'm also investing that a bit. I haven't. Uh, oh, I I did invest more fiat actually. Uh, actually, uh, I was still busy converting gold and uh, gold mining uh, stocks uh, into uh, crypto, and so my last buy was at two hundred dollars a coin for Bitcoin. Um, and um, uh, I'm gonna hunt for uh, NXT. I think that um, as Bitcoin corrects back to thousand uh, dollars, the altcoins will continue to have a hard time, not compared to fiat, but compared to Bitcoin. Uh, I think because that was the case the last time, the last time when Bitcoin went up from hundred dollars to thousand dollars or before that from um, ten dollars to two hundred fifty dollars um, in those two big rallies that lasted about two three months um, altcoins continue to have a hard time up until the old all-time high was reached so the the rally from ten dollars to two hundred fifty dollars uh, while the old all-time high then was $32, so up until $32, altcoins, uh, which was mainly Litecoin at the time, continued to go down versus Bitcoin. But once the old all-time high of $32 was breached, uh, then um, then um, what you saw was that uh, suddenly uh, Litecoin uh, expressed, expressed in Bitcoin values to, uh, tenfolded in only one month time uh, versus Bitcoin eh? <laughs> uh, no I'm wrong versus Bitcoin it fourfolded uh, but in fiat it um, 4D folded eh? from $1 to $40 eh? Litecoin um, but for, uh, versus Bitcoin it was what was it? It was some one, some some one, and it became four eh? versus Bitcoin. So, but before that, it was two. So it dropped down to one Litecoin uh, before it went to four uh, versus Bitcoin, and so, and the same happened again when uh, when uh, Bitcoin went from hundred dollars to thousand dollars. Then the old all-time high was two hundred fifty. Five dollars, 
Uh, well, up until that point, uh, Litecoin and other altcoins continued to go down. But once $250 was breached, then suddenly a lot of capital flew from Bitcoin to altcoins and, and the price of altcoins um, started to not fall versus Bitcoin, but rise versus Bitcoin. So I think that the well, I think you have the highest probability to bet on that scenario. That means that it's a good bet to take to uh, continue to build your altcoin position as Bitcoin goes up to thousand dollars, actually thousand two hundred dollars. And you should have all you should have taken in all your altcoin positions uh, once Bitcoin goes above thousand two hundred, because after that likely altcoins will go up a lot more than Bitcoin. But until then, likely altcoins will go down versus Bitcoin. So for NXT, that means we're now at 4,500 Satoshi. The low has been the past year and a half. It has been 4,000 Satoshi, the low. So that has been a very strong uh, support. But I think it will break down um, once Bitcoin goes to 500, 600, 800 dollars. Then I think... Um, uh, the remaining back holders in NXT will uh, cash out because NXT has had a terrible bear market not as terrible as most other altcoins but terrible nonetheless and I think many NXT whales uh, early investors have sold about half their stash uh, on average but likely as there are still some that want to sell but have not sold because of uh, just continuing spiraling prices uh, which made them not willing to sell uh, versus fiat it used to be 100 million now it's only 10 million nxt the value market capitalization so um, i can imagine that some of these whales are waiting for the nxt price to go up in fiat value to cash out more and so once bitcoin now it's 200 $35, let's say doubles to let's say over about $500 and suddenly NXT is not 10 million but 20 million uh, market cap uh, um, and then it's possible that uh, some uh, whale sells again a stash pushing down the price versus Bitcoin from the current 4,500 to maybe 3,000 Satoshi um, and the same when it goes up from $800 to $2,200 or 600 to 1200 like again doubling so then suddenly NXT is worth not uh, 20 but 40 or 50 million yeah? and likely some NXT wills or, uh, will uh, cash out what they wanted to cash out before but never could uh, again putting pressure on uh, the NXT price uh, so my bet is on that uh, NXT will bottom out uh, uh, above 2000 uh, but below 3000 and um, um, so I think those uh, put, putting your uh, buy support there uh, is a good idea to pick up uh, the cheapest coins um, that will possibly uh, be available versus Bitcoin um, yeah I think it's gonna be the last opportunity um, so, but of course today, I think it's wise to have your Bitcoins already because versus Fiat, I don't see NXT and I've been wrong already two times before. So, uh, but I don't think NXT will go down to, uh, I mean, it has been actually gone to 9 million, but I don't think it will go much, much slower than uh, the current 10 million uh, market capitalization. However, Bitcoin, um, it's worth about three, four billion dollars, not 10 million. So it's worth about 300 times more than NXT. And I think the opportunity, even though Bitcoin is a very, the best, best investment compared to stocks, real estate, bonds. Eh? But when you look in the cryptocurrency world, I don't think Bitcoin is the best investment at all. I think it's one of the worst, except for scam coins, of course, and bullshit coins. But, I mean, Bitcoin is highly overvalued versus uh, uh, altcoins such as, of course, NXT, but also even Dogecoin, which is just a copy coin of NXT, uh, of uh, Bitcoin. But, I mean, it has about one third uh, the amount of transactions of Bitcoin, yet 
the valuation is the same as NXT, it's like 12 million or so. So it's also 300 times cheaper than Bitcoin. That's totally unreasonable huh? uh, because uh, uh, Deutschcoin uh, has succeeded in building their own community, is attracting new users to the cryptocurrency space, has a, a young uh, clientele. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I think that's a much better buy than Bitcoin. I know it sounds crazy, but you know, um, I, 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 I'm not of the opinion. Of course, when you look at um, like Mindshare, like Bitcoin is like at least ab indeed about 100 to 300 times more famous, more known than Dogecoin or NXT. So that parameter eh, justifies Bitcoin's valuation. But there are so many other parameters, indicators that say that, okay, but based on these other indicators, Bitcoin is not at all worth so much more. Eh? For example, the amount of transactions uh, with Dogecoin is one third. So based on that, it should be worth one third of Bitcoin. Eh? Um, so um, also with Dogecoin, uh, the inflation rate, uh, uh, it has been very high the first year, but now it's gonna be only 5% per year. So that's also already, always a very good point to buy. Uh, right before the inflation rate will drop dramatically, uh, is, a, is a very good point to buy, and that's been that's the case with Dogecoin now the next few months. Um, of course, I'm not bullish on other things. Uh, counterparty, I think they failed their project uh, since, and this is very important. I mean, counterparty is the only decent competitor for NXT when it comes to a decentralized asset exchange. Uh, NXT has a, a very successful one, uh, the most successful one, uh, but uh, Counterparty is there too. When you look at the market capitalization of assets, actually Counterparty is winning, uh, but um, I, the big problem with counterparty is that all the trades are not done on the counterparty platform. Uh, people are trading these assets on centralized exchanges such as Polonix. And so, I mean, people that launch assets on counterparty, um, okay, they have the advantage that it's built on the Bitcoin network and so you can trade with Bitcoins directly. Uh, on the counterparty platform and that's why it is successful but the disadvantage is that it is a very slow platform because Bitcoin takes 10 minutes for each new block so it takes 10 minutes for feedback whether your trade has been successfully submitted or not um, or processed or not or sold or bought or not and so waiting 10 minutes for feedback is really way too slow and also you can't keep your orders open the moment you close your browser you lose all your open trades this is ridiculous huh? so that's why nobody uses the counterparty platform to trade assets only to launch them and um, that's a big failure uh, it is not a decentralized exchange if people are not exchanging the the assets in a decentralized way if people are not storing their assets in a decentralized way uh, then but on a centralized platform then they are uh, vulnerable uh, then they have counterparty risk and so then the whole thing has failed eh? the whole objective of a decentralized asset exchange is that you own your assets yourself without counterparty risk and uh, the only platform that offers that is NXT today uh, all assets launched on NXT are also traded via the NXT client. Um, of course, some of these assets are al also uh, uh, no, um, quoted uh, and traded on centralized exchanges, but the highest trade volume is on decentralized exchange in the NXT client. So, so, and other competition uh, is uh, BitShares, uh, who is also a proof of stake coin. That's very positive about them. But they have uh, uh, time and time again um, um, broken uh, the, uh, uh, the 
the contract, I've, the broken, the unspoken agreement that you don't create more shares or units of account or, or coins. And XC launched with 1 billion coins, it's still 1 billion coins. The, the developers are not like uh, abandoning NXT project, starting another one, t launching a new coin, you know, and then you have to buy into that again. Like that would be really, really fucked up and that would destroy the NXT project. Eh? Because when you invest in NXT, you suppose that the developers are gonna stay to continue to work on NXT. Some can leave, of course, eh? others can join, but uh, it's the same when you invest in a company, you expect the CEO to build the company and not print more shares or abandon the company and start another company and where you then have to invest in again. Eh? So that's like investing 101 is that you the, 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 the CEO, when they take your money in exchange for a part of the company, you expect them to stick with the company eh? and not pr print more shares or create new companies uh, 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 next to it. Eh? So BitShares has continually done that. Uh, they, they, they have like uh, at least five assets that have been there before BitShares, uh, BitShares X, BitShares Normal, uh, Proto shares, all kind of things that they launched one thing after another. These developers uh, constantly um, screwing over investors. So that's like, that's really like you don't do that. That's one reason not to invest. But they did well to choose also proof of stake. Um, and so it is an altcoin, a true altcoin. Counterparty is not an altcoin, it's just something built on top of Bitcoin. Counterparty has their own currency, but since you can trade uh, on the platform with Bitcoin, the own currency counterparty coin is not uh, valuable, um, is not use necessary. I like to invest in cryptocurrency in coins that have uh, that you really need. Uh, if you don't really need it, I'm not going to invest. Maybe in the future, for example, Monero. They have a big story. Uh, they claim to be the best technology for uh, anonymous tra uh, uh, transactions but they don't did not they, uh, they, they did not um, uh, they don't have a market yet it's not like some kind of silk road silk road platform is using monero uh, in if that would be the case that would be interesting to see because then you really need monero uh, to to do something somewhere but that's not the case. They didn't succeed in that yet. The same with Darkcoin that is now Dash. Eh? Um, terrible name, Dash. I don't get it. Eh? Uh, maybe that's because I'm from the Netherlands or Belgium where Dash is just a washing product. Um, by the way, I think NXT is a good name. Um, big banks here they, uh, in Belgium is KBC, ENG. They are all three letter words. Uh, it's quite common. For banks, uh, three-letter words for currencies is quite common too. Euro is EUR, US dollar, USD. Eh? So I think NXT is actually a good name um, for what it is. It replaces banks, big banks, and it replaces currency, big currencies. So, but, um, and it has basically no meaning. NXT has no meaning. That's why you can give it a meaning. Dash has a meaning, so that's a problem. Um, and Monero is too long, and then they, you, it's hard to connect the symbol to the name. I don't know the symbol for Monero, so it's confusing. So I think NXT, the name is actually really good. What I don't like to see in the NXT community is the NXT Foundation. I mean, some people are really good uh, marketeers, they do great job, but I think it's a big mistake to set up an NXT foundation. Um, I think you really miss the point uh, of uh, crypt decentralized cryptocurrencies if you set that up. If you want to market um, uh, uh, NXT, you can set up something else that does, because the, these, the, they say the NXT foundation that, yeah, we don't speak for the NXT community, but that's actually like goes against your name. If you choose that name, then you actually people think that you speak for the NXT community. So 
Um, I think it's very unlucky uh, uh, that some people choose to work that way. Uh, but NXT is decentralized, of course, people can choose what they do. Uh, but I just want to say that I really do not support that. And um, I think it would be much wiser to choose some kind of, I don't know, NXT Angels or or some kind of cool name uh, uh, to, to, to give your group uh, a, a name. Uh, if you want to be a marketing group, uh, give yourself some kind of rock band group or something. I think that would like like I would I would really be willing to support such group, but I'm never going to support any people that call themselves NXT Foundation. Uh, I will support them for their individual projects, but not for their uh, projects done via such a terribly chosen name that really misrepresents what NXT is all about. Huh? Um, so. Um, but NXT itself, um, I mean, it's amazing. The developers, they do amazing work. Jean-Luc Cushti, uh, Wesley. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if Wesley is still very active, but sometimes I see him pop Jones. Um, and, uh, and you have Lafayette or something. You have a, 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 a whole, a lot of them. And I don't know them all by name, I'm sorry. But um, they do amazing work, and even in this terrible bear market, they just like bring out one update after another, and this uh, NXT software is just really improving uh, greatly. Um, uh, the also what James is producing, uh, the multi gateway, it is working better and better, and it is my actually it becomes more and more my preferred way to uh, buy and sell NXT uh, with Bitcoin, Be just because of the counterparty risks. The platform is still slow. Sometimes it takes days before they process your withdrawal or um, a deposit, but. Uh, at least you can allez, sleep better at night that your coins will not be gone the next day such as happened with Beter and Mongox uh, and so many other smaller ones um, so I, I think something really nice is uh, happening there too um, some people say that you have to invest in the assets uh, for NXT to become successful, and I still am in the, of the opinion that's not the case. Um, of course, I mean, NXT has succeeded only to be useful, really useful for one thing up until today. If you want to uh, launch uh, your assets uh, on a decentralized exchange, if you want to buy assets in a truly decentralized way and store them yourself, you will have, you will need NXT to go to the NXT uh, platform. Uh, so NXT has a, a utility, that's why I think it's a, a very good investment because that takes out a lot of risk. Eh? The same with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is first, yeah, you could only buy as alpaca socks with it. Um, you didn't really need Bitcoin, it was just a nice uh, innovation, a nice technology. But then Silk Road was launched, the first um, dark market where you could buy drugs, uh, 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 and you needed really Bitcoin for that and start and that was in 2012 so at that point uh, suddenly Bitcoin had a real utility a real need and so in you if you invested only then in Bitcoin you invested with a much lower risk and if at the same time the bear market there was a bear market then you also had a tremendous uh, upwards potential and actually at that point Bitcoin was five dollars went up to $10 in 2012, $13 at the end of the year, but at the same time Silk Road was launched and flourished and the amount of transactions went up a lot. And so uh, that was a very co good point to invest, which I also did at that point. But I was waiting for Bitcoin w when it was correcting from $30 to uh, $2 or $3. Uh, I was following it, but I was still rejecting it because of false reasons. Um, but also, yeah, um, uh, the risk was also still very high. Um, I think the same is true for today for things like Monero and Darkcoin um, that don't have uh, succeeded yet in having a true uh, utility, a unique selling point. I mean, they haven't proven to be able to conquer a market. 
and so NXT has proven that that's very good but I also think clumps coins clumps have proven that too um, you if you want to uh, invest or play on uh, just dice you really need clump coins you can't get around that eh? of course this is very centralized like if just only just dice decides to shut down the website or they decide to drop clumps back for Bitcoin, yeah, suddenly you lost all your utility. So it is very dependent on only one player. Uh, but, you know, at least uh, this one player is a very important player. Um, DICE sites are um, uh, next to, uh, I, in the cryptocurrency world, uh, gambling is a very big uh, industry. And um, some of these people uh, have really created a very innovative uh, websites where gamblers can um, gamble uh, for much better conditions than they can in the physical world. Uh, dice sites, for example, that only offer 1% um, uh, edge, and so a gambler will lose on average about only 1% of their um, of their um, uh, of the money they bet. And then uh, just uh, Satoshi Dice was like that. Eh? But the problem with Satoshi Dice was that um, um, Satoshi Dice sold shares to their... Um, uh, uh, if you, you could invest in Satoshi Dice, but you would buy shares. And then the Bitcoin price would go up a lot. And then well, the people wouldn't gamble as much Bitcoins on Satoshi Dice. And so the turnover would go down a lot expressed in Bitcoin and so also the valuation of Satoshi Dice expressed in Bitcoin went down a lot and so your shares even though they didn't go down in fiat value they did drop a lot in Bitcoin value this is one of the things that happened when Bitcoin prices went up a lot but almost I mean all other assets ended up to be a total failure uh, expressed in Bitcoin value that's why I'm think it's so foolish to invest uh, a majority of our NXT in assets this is really not smart I mean of course the past year that was a the much better investment than just buying NXT coins but tie the tide will turn and um, there will be a time when NXT goes up in fiat value times 10 even times 100 and at that point all these assets will drop dramatically in NXT value and you will uh, pay the price. So, um, yeah, I think this is also one of the explanations why NXT, even though it's clearly a, 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 an amazing platform, an amazing currency, um, still it has a hard time to gain any, uh, uh, and it, to go up in value versus Bitcoin uh, past half, uh, year, one year and a half, it has basically uh, kept its value versus Bitcoin. It didn't, did not go up. Uh, it's still around 5,000 Satoshi as it was one year and a half ago. I think part of that is because a lot of NXT investors um, have invested about on average half of their NXT coins into assets. And these assets holders, they do not keep the NXT coins. Eh? What they do is they sell the NXT coins uh, to pay for stuff hmm? and so that puts a downward pressure on, X, on NXT the value of the currencies of course it puts an upward pressure on the assets eh? and the assets have uh, gone up uh, times two times three on average uh, and so a lot of people have made money there um, and of course I won't deny of course it is super important for uh, that there are investors in the assets eh? so those are needed too because it's a little bit like a chicken and egg thing. Eh? Uh, the, the, the NXT asset exchange needs to be successful uh, uh, to, for NXT currency to be successful. So, I mean, someone has to do it. It's just not going to be me. Eh? Um, unless I see an asset that uh, uh, has done what the currencies have done. Uh, I mean, I'm just, uh, I just take not as much risk as most people. I want to see, before I invest in a company, I want to see a profitable business. Yeah? So I, I want to see clients, I want to see turnover, I want to see profits. And only then, when the profits are high enough and the future looks good, I will invest. 
and so such assets are not available on the NXT Asset Exchange currently. They are currently all in uh, just stories, eh? and they don't even have like they they don't need profits per se, but they need to have something that's successful. Eh? Like I would also invest in Google when I see that the amount of searches is going up dramatically, eh? even though they don't make profits. Or YouTube, eh? yeah, maybe I wouldn't, but. I mean, YouTube, like certain kind of projects, they don't have profits, but they do have dramatic growth in users. And then I'm also interested, but none of these NXT assets have that currently. Eh? So um, that's why I also don't invest yet, but I might one day if they succeed in that. But for example, why do I do invest in NXT? Because there you do have strong traction. You have strong indicators that this thing is growing rapidly. Eh? If you look at the amount of transactions with NXT, it has tenfolded since one year and a half ago. Eh? Thanks to the asset exchange, you have a lot of more transactions in NXT. Eh? You have also the messages, and now you have also the uh, uh, you can launch your own currency that hasn't taken off. You can also use your uh, launch your own shop, and that also has not taken off. But all things taken together, the amount of transactions has tenfolded. And that's the strongest growth from all altcoins. And it's also much stronger than Bitcoin, who has only doubled the amount of transactions the past year and a half. Uh, and also Dogecoin, which has a lot of transactions, but it has not tenfolded the amount of transactions. It has actually been steady, only steady uh, and slow growth. But for example, alt, uh, Litecoin is a total disaster because the amount of transactions the past year and a half has continued to go down in contrast to, for example, Dogecoin or NXT or Bitcoin. So, um, um, and then on other, on other um, horizons, I bought, I bought a beautiful Lamborghini. And um, I'm planning to put a very uh, sweet NXT logo on it. And um, it's really amazing to drive that car. Uh, a lot of <laughs> everybody's watching. It's a really cool car. It's a beautiful Lamborghini Gallardo Spider 2006. Uh, it has yellow, bright yellow. It's convertible. So it's really a dream. And also found a, an amazing girlfriend. So I'm a really happy man. Eh? Um, and. Um, and life is beautiful, even though I'm in grey Belgium, but uh, the sun is shining, uh, the summer is uh, starting, and that's really nice. But yeah, I think um, it's really a bummer uh, how hard the Bitcoin uh, has taken a beating uh, and all the altcoins. Um, um, knowing that there is so much money rolling around in the world so much value and it's not draining into cryptocurrency the past year and a half it's a bummer and uh yeah my deepest um, uh, sympathy for those that have uh, entered uh, cryptocurrency on the highs uh, around thousand dollar or around 10 cents a coin nxt 100 million dollar of course the, you have tremendous losses right now and i can imagine it's very hard um, but um, yeah, I, I still um, have to repeat the same as I have uh, always said, which is um, yeah, seize the day, I invest more today. Uh, the fundamentals look to me rock solid. Um, I don't see the threat of a Bitcoin being made illegal, um, uh, or cryptocurrencies made illegal in the West. I don't see it happening. Uh, I don't see it. I see the, I, the signs are not there. Eh? Uh, so, so that's a good thing. The technology seems to be robust. A Bitcoin can fail and with a 51% attack all Bitcoin tarts, how, how I call them these days, because so, so annoying people, most of the Bitcoin whales, they are in full denial about the weaknesses of Bitcoin when it comes to centralization of mining pools and, 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 um, uh, the vulnerability of, of Bitcoin a 51% attack total denial eh? uh, but you know if you invest also in NXT a lot then you're very well protected against that and um, um, yeah um, as always eh? um, because people 
it's not easy Mo easy money does not exist uh, lucky you can get lucky as uh, for sometimes if you play long enough you invest long enough you can get lucky I was lucky to invest in Bitcoin in 2012 when it was around $13 um, I was uh, it was wise of me to invest uh, not just pennies but 10% of my capital but I was lucky that in one year it hundred folded uh, so quick I, I did not expect that at all I thought it would take three years and so yeah people that entered one year later after it hundred folded yeah they were unlucky that um, they made such tremendous losses uh, the uh, the next year and a half um, so you can be a little bit lucky un uh, unlucky that's possible but if you um, just like with gambling you play long enough you'll get the returns that you have um, um, bet upon you know and um, and so you have to continue to play and um, to continue to trust that um, as long as you take good bets with a positive expected returns then in the long run you will do well and so for me today it's um, you should be fully focused on investing as much as possible into NXT um, uh, because I mean you have to always go with the fundamentals you cannot like listen to other people you have to uh, invest based on the truth and the truth is just black on white points black on white truth like what's the amount of transactions with NXT per day how strong has the growth been huh? what can you do with that platform that you cannot do with other platforms huh? how will it respond to a 51% attack versus the other ones yeah and also of course what is the mind share huh? like how much how much are people talking about NXT versus other platforms on that level I think NXT is doing very well uh, if you look at the altcoin section on the Bitcoin forum NXT is being talked about a lot if there are polls there you see that um, uh, NXT is really like very popular and but you don't see it in the price why is that because people like you don't invest enough in NXT with their money huh? you do, I mean if, if people would invest the way I do and that I'm not talking about total capital I'm talking about percentages your the best investment should have the highest allocation yeah the best investment if you agree with me is NXT then you should have more invest in NXT than any other investment you have and that's a real estate included eh? And so the more than 50% of your portfolio should be in NXT hmm? and so if you do that uh, that's the right approach and that's what I do so um, uh, but most people don't do that and if you don't have capital you should look for capital and if you're not able to look for capital you should uh, and I mean you should, time yeah, and energy is also an other form of capital now is the time to invest a good time to invest all your time in NXT and to make it happen eh? as a marketeer or as a developer and build your name because once when, 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 Bitcoin, when NXT is successful then the rewards will come for you too even though you may not be able to put a lot of capital in today if you build your name today you will be the one to get uh, the spoils when it is successful when people donate, the largest donations will go to you. Hmm? And same with assets. It's very smart. People that launch assets today, if you do that smart, the way Eric Voorhees has done it with Bitcoin. Eric Voorhees, I don't think, was very rich before he entered Bitcoin. But what he did do very wisely was he bought projects that were uh, working, such as Satoshi Dice. He didn't build that himself, but he bought it. Uh, from a programmer who don't, didn't want to scale it up but uh, and then what he did he, he launches it on uh, an asset, a Bitcoin asset exchange that has gone defunct of course uh, but um, and then he sells shares 10% oh no it was on MPEX it's still there but it's unusable unusable um, it's very very hard to use but if you um, uh, launch assets and you get bitcoins, he got a lot of bitcoins for uh, his Satoshi Dai shares that he sold. 
and of course he was wise to keep those bitcoins not spend them away eh? and uh, if, if you do the same you have Solange NXT assets you keep the majority of the NXT for yourself which is totally okay as long as you make your project grow eh? then uh, you that's the way to become rich from nothing eh? if you're able to uh, get 1 million NXT from NX from an asset eh? Uh, then that's one million and if NXT goes up from one cent to one dollar which is I think likely um, over the next few years then you have one million US dollars eh, in your hands thanks to today um, 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 receiving one million NXT coins and not spending them away or not selling them for Bitcoin hmm? so those opportunities are all here today but it is today you have to do it hmm? So, um, um, that was my pump talk of uh, the month. Um, I just want to say something more about my last video. I said that I was not a good investor anymore because I, I, I did not diversify uh, anymore. But actually, that's not true. I do diversify still. Eh? Let's say I have about 50% in NXT, about 30% in Bitcoin, that's 80%, about 10% in Clump Coins, that's 90%, and another 10%, or maybe 15% in gold. Eh? I probably have about 40% NXT, 30% Bitcoin, 20% eh? gold, and 10% Clump Coins. Clamps. So I have a diversification, it's just that it's 80% in crypto because the best risk reward ratios are there. Eh? It's not in real estate, or it's not in just uh, Tesla stock. Um, uh, it's not in gold, eh? of course not, or silver. Um, so, um, uh, I do diversify, uh, but uh, I just follow the Kelly criterion, which is a mathematically proven uh, way to invest or to gamble, uh, uh, is that um, you, you, you you put the highest bet on the highest risk reward ratio um, in uh, gamble huh? or, or investments so if you follow that your portfolio is very volatile that's the disadvantage but in the long run you have will you have you will have the most growth huh? and that's what i'm going for and that's why i'm able to buy a well not a, the lamborghini uh, it's part of that um I didn't invest enough in Bitcoin at the time, only 10% where it was cheap, so I made that mistake, but I was smart to really like change my thinking and to hold on to most of those Bitcoins and not sell them er, too soon. Eh? I ended up selling most, I about half from around $500, but you know, most people are not able to hold on to that long. Eh? Um, so, um, uh, and I, for me, it's the same with NXT. I buy NXT today not to have 50% gain. I buy it to have a 10 falling, which is not 50, but 1000% gain. That's not 100%, that's 1000. Eh? That's what you have to go for. Eh? You have to go for a home run. That's what I go for. Eh? Um, uh, but it's much easier to have a 10 falling if you buy today at 10 million than if you buy at 100 million. Eh? Uh, so today it's super cheap. So if you buy today coins uh, at one cent a coin, yeah, you quickly can uh, go to a 10 falling. You don't even have to breach the old, old. It's just the old, all time high in NXT. It already was 100 million once. So you just go back to 100 million, you have your 10 falling, and you can sell some eh? and uh, have a, a major profit and still have a major stash left. Hmm? Um, so yeah, I think it's a very good uh, time today to stash and to uh, to buy uh, NXT coins and at a later stage to uh, in, uh, to diversify them or to invest and uh, to spend them wisely uh, to make NXT grow eh? uh, at, at a later point because I have not donated a, a lot of coins because the price has gone down so much. Eh? But once the price picks up again and goes up and I am in profits, then I plan to donate much more. Yeah, sorry, uh, I got a call and uh, the, the video got um, uh, stopped automatically. So, um, 
Uh, just uh, to find, uh, to conclude, uh, I think I said uh, the most important things that were on my mind. Um, going over uh, the competition, uh, you still have also uh, Ripple and Stellar. For me, these are not uh, interesting. Uh, they are not uh, why I came into cryptocurrency. I came into cryptocurrency for a non-inflationary uh, a currency uh, 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 that can be a store of value. Um, like that's what attracted me to Bitcoin. So I have no interest in Ripple who, uh, or, or Stellar, who are not really uh, currencies, but more uh, payment systems. Same with PayPal. I'm not interested in PayPal. It's just a payment system. I think the biggest problems in the world, um, there are a lot, but uh, today it's that um, big, biggest problem for um, is that is that people can't save money uh, because when you save money on a bank account, you these days you don't get any interest, but inflation continues to be five percent, six percent, seven percent per year. Uh, prices continue to go up every year not by the government's numbers of 1% or 2%, but by 5%. Eh? If you keep track of prices, you will see that. Or if you just look for past prices of the past 20 years, 30 years, 10 years, you will see that prices have doubled on average every 12 years or so, which is about 6% inflation. So um, that's continues to be the case, but you can't save you can't have these returns when you put your money on a bank account so you're losing about five percent per year on a bank account um, unless you invest uh, wisely then you can have five six percent and keep up with the inflation but most people are unable to do that sound money is super important and we don't have it and uh, that's because the government steals constantly from the euro printing more of them and putting it in their pockets and their minions pockets and uh, and that's why people can't save money I think that's uh, the biggest problem and of course um, you just need um, it's there are other problems to uh, you can't really a whole you can't hold your own money um, I mean uh, you can't you can keep cash but that's you get zero interest so that's that's work that's the people don't do that anymore you must put your ba money on a bank account and so you always have counterparty risk which is also a big problem and the same is true with uh, financial assets if you buy stocks bonds you cannot own them yourself anymore you always have to put them in um, uh, let the bank keep them for you and from time to time uh, you are uh, some people are very unlucky to be involved in a in a in a bank uh, default where um, where uh, they lose everything above hundred thousand euro uh, or or, uh, or they also um, or they, their assets seem to be gone. Um, so um, so yeah, a cryptocurrency solves that. Another problem, of course, is also. Um, a big problem is taxation governments in the west take f under the threat of violence uh, your income uh, a big piece of it and if you don't give it you go to jail they lock you up and uh, that's why cash is and continues to be popular because people want to spend in privacy but also to save in privacy to not be stolen from uh, or to receive money in privacy sometimes just not to evade taxes sometimes just because they don't want others to sniff in their business uh, but um, the problem is with cash is trash it's real trash it's hand it's pr super practical to, uh, uh, to to pay people with cash and to receive but you can't do it on the internet so that's where bitcoins and other cryptocurrency comes in um, but also it's trash you can't store cash because it goes down in value so quickly so you have a problem you can't convert it to gold people don't do that anymore because gold is well um, sometimes goes up but then sometimes it goes down a lot in value too for a long time it is still being used but a very small part of the population does that so we have a big money problem um, um, and, and cash is dirty it's just so old technology uh, it's 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 not of these times anymore. 
So we need digital equivalent of cash, uh, not, not only that it is practical to pay people in privacy and to receive money in privacy, not just people that you see face to face, but people from all over the world. Huh? That's what cryptocurrency offers. Um, but also you can store it. Huh? You don't have to convert into something else to store it. Huh? Uh, and, um, and, and that you can do directly with cryptocurrency also. So it does solve the major problems of um, inflation and taxation um, and a lack of privacy. And that's why I'm in cryptocurrency. So if people come with projects that are like very inflationary, like bit shares, always creating new assets. Yeah, sorry, that's not the deal. Uh, or, uh, or indeed that where the supply of the currency is centralized, people, just one person can click on a button, create more currency like Ripple or Stellar. Sorry, not acceptable. Um, and um, so I think Bitcoin uh, does a great job, but it has some faults. It's, um, it's, um, I'm not going to over them right now, but NXT solved those faults and improves uh, majorly. Watch my all other videos for that. How to become a next billionaire, why I invested half my uh, Bitcoins in NXT. Today it's not half my Bitcoins. Today uh, it's going to uh, about... Uh, yeah, I, 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 I mean, I only have one third Bitcoin and two thirds NXT. So, um, and um, um, yeah, I think um, this bear market uh, does do a great job to get rid of those that um, that uh, don't really um, invest, that only invest for uh, financial profit. There is nothing wrong with that. Uh, but um, but it's called opportunism and opportunism I mean yeah um, you can do that but uh, the best thing to do is um, it's like if you start a company only for profit you're not gonna make it you need something more. What you need more is a drive to improve the world. That's my opinion, and 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 I'm, uh, it's not true. My opinion. Uh, there is another opinion that's equally true. My opinion is um, that um, yeah, that's that's important that you want to offer something of value, and of course you want to make big profits with it too, and so. Um, and a lot of people miss a lot of people miss they only want to make money but they are not want to don't want to really improve the world that's a problem because they don't really offer great value huh? and then you have a lot of other people they offer great value but they don't want to make profits they don't want to make money and that's a big problem too huh? because then the company even though it offers a great value it does go broke so you need both um, offer great value but also make good profits and for example I miss that in James assets eh? James assets have been very very skeptical I don't understand all the complexity why assets like are very skeptical but what I'm also missing is profits healthy profits I could be wrong in that eh? but for example the multi gateway is the only thing that's really working uh, that has James has produced and I mean uh, I think the other pro some of these other processes working on is very admirable eh? but since I'm skeptical eh, I'm going be what like the results not the promises and for example multi gateway it's free you can use it for free so how are they making money I think that's very important that you have peace that multi gateway make profits eh? that they make money why not it offers something unique that nobody else offers it is a exchange with the lowest uh, counterparty risk so you really need it if you use your mind you you use that for some cases for other cases not but if you want to put open orders in the order book for a long time this is of course a much better platform than even very reputable centralized exchanges like Polonix because they are just much more vulnerable to attack than uh, the multi gateway um, um, yeah, so 
uh, but for example, yeah, for me, Supernat, it's very interesting what's happening in NXT world. You have the Supernat thing, and Supernat uh, is actually now another a copy client of NXT, and they make some adaptations to it. But it's interesting, like they they are and especially the latest uh, iteration have a new front end for the NXT client where you can have just a couple of buttons what you can do with each coin eh? and 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 uh, I see potential there it's it's a good idea but like I'm not interested currently to buy the supernet assets because there I'm buying not a cryptocurrency mm -hmm. I'm buying a piece of a company eh? and that's not the major innovation for me in cryptocurrency is about replacing like offering better forms of money that's the primary thing not offering better companies you know that already worked pretty well in the old world where companies uh, 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 live and die eh, and better companies come to the surface the big problem was money we need better forms of money because there was no competition in money it was all centralized government money it was pure communism and that's now with c cryptocurrency that monopoly has been broken and and it has also been accepted by the elites that it's over with the monopoly they allow now free market uh, of currencies so it's about offering the best currency that's the big mission and so but i think supernet may become one of the most interesting companies in the cryptocurrency world so maybe i will buy uh, a piece of that company but what I want to see then is is of course that the thing works like Miltigay works but you know it should work a lot better huh? but okay it works that's fine huh? but the other thing should work too but also I want to see like and that's maybe not uh, really necessary I, uh, but for me it's important that they see profits I, okay it works but you also have to ask money especially in the cryptocurrency world it's not like YouTube where you can't really ask money to people huh? Um, uh, I mean, or Google, eh, where you have search, yeah, all these things, these kind of business models, you need to start them and you need to at first like get a lot of customers or Facebook. You need to first get a lot of customers, cost a lot of money eh, and only on a later stage you do advertising and stuff and you make money. Okay, that's, that's cool. But in cryptocurrency, you can ask a fee, especially when it's like exchanges, like multi-gateways exchange can easily ask a fee, a small fee, that you make automatically profit or you make automatically money, which allows you to build a platform out. If you're the first, you can afford it. It's like eBay, when it, because it was the first, it could allow to ask fees from the start and with those fees, uh, pay people and become the dominant player. But that's because it asked fees from the start and you can do that if you're the first huh? multi gateway is the first in a decentralized a coin exchange so they can afford that just not too high you know and 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 and, and the same with the other services that supernet is uh, offering i think that's very important and, and if they would do that and then if nxt 10 or 100 falls then i think it would be very interesting to diversify nxt into some valuable cryptocurrency companies huh? Um, and Supernet might be a major player then for me to invest in, but not now. So I hope that, um, I think that's just the right way to do it. It's the same with mining in Bitcoin. It's always a bad investment, unless Bitcoin has gone up a lot in value. It just has tenfolded or hundredfolded, then it's a good time. But not when it just went down, uh, divided by five or ten, then not. Eh? And it's the same today. Some of these companies will be great investments on the NXT asset exchange. Once NXT 10 or 100 falls, then, eh? but not today. But by then, they also need to be quality companies because if it's not quality companies, then you can better diversify into just gold or uh, real estate or uh, eh? you really need quality companies. And for me, quality companies, um, like it needs to be a lot more than a story. It needs to be a proven model. It needs to have customers like a, a client strong growth in clients that's number one and preferably also uh, turnover money making money eh? so I hope some of these companies succeeds in that uh, within one year time maximum two year times because by then I think uh, the cryptocurrency will be in a bull market again uh, Bitcoin leading altcoins following and at the later stage altcoins leading 
currently Bitcoin has about 95% of the cryptocurrency market capitalization. All the other altcoins are only 5%. The last bull market, only Litecoin had already 10% of the market capitalization. And then you had all these others also. So the last time we had the bull market, by estimation, the altcoins were about 20% of the market capitalization. Now they are only 5%. Yet the quality of the altcoins has gone up dramatically versus Bitcoin NXT being on the forefront. But even others, like for example, Clumps, I mean, Bitcoin is losing markets today. Like gambling used to be all Bitcoin, but now you have players like Clump, Clumps that take over like the best gambling websites. They choose to abandon Bitcoin and adopt Clump. Yeah, that's not good for Bitcoin. It's losing markets, but it's also a normal process because Bitcoin is moving up in markets. Bitcoin is now going to the more wide uh, 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 markets, uh, uh, the more mass markets where they don't want to hear about Bitcoin being used in, in gambling or in, 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 in dark web or uh, uh, um, uh, markets. Eh? They The Bitcoiners themselves become more mainstream and they don't mind that Bitcoin loses markets at the bottom uh, but at the same be, uh, because that's needed to gain market at the top like they're moving into bigger markets like now ETFs uh, likely over the next few months to a year they will become uh, more and more mainstream where venture capitalists uh, uh, already started to invest in companies but the, they will also start to invest in the coin itself Bitcoin itself and ETFs and mainstream investors all gonna that's where Bitcoin is moving into also moving into remittances eh, transferring money over the world eh. it's just all dreams but now it's also you have really companies starting up and offering services uh, with Bitcoin to transfer money uh, over the world um, so uh, Bitcoin is moving up but at the same time it's losing its bottom markets where it actually all started eh. So Silk Road um, was Bitcoin, it's down. Still today, these markets, these dark markets are using uh, Bitcoin, but sooner or later, I think some of these anonymous coins, maybe it will be Dash, maybe it will be Monero, uh, or maybe it will be NXT. Eh? It's possible too, because NXT is not just a currency, it's a platform, so you can launch your own shop on the NXT platform. And once you do that, you will use NXT coin too. So we will have to see who succeeds, but one will succeed in uh, taking over uh, a Bitcoin, that market, and Bitcoin will lose that market. And at that point, it's very interesting to invest in the coin that succeeds in that. But Bitcoin has, has, is losing the gambling world. Bitcoin is losing the asset exchange. It used to be that all asset exchanges, uh, centralized asset exchange where you can launch uh, your stocks with all the Bitcoin, uh, like I'm thinking about Havelock, I'm thinking about, uh, what was it? Uh, Bitcoin. <sighs> Forgot all the names, but they went broke. And, um, or Ampex is still up, but you have some others too. I forgot the names. And so they all went down either to threat of violence by government because they didn't have licenses or by being fraudulent and just running away with the coins and all the people that assets there, uh, and even the people that launch the asset don't know who the assets all the holders are and all that. Eh? So people, so Bitcoin is losing uh, asset markets because there was no decentralized asset market, but now uh, NXT is actually like really taking over uh, the asset uh, decentralized asset exchange. So Bitcoin losing that market also. So. Um, so that's what's happening now in this terrible bear market. You also see major shifts um, and um, the, those are major opportunities. Uh, but um, also, I mean, it's just major improvements because Bitcoin just wasn't good enough uh, to serve these, uh, these, these, these dark markets. It's just not good enough. Huh? And so these altcoins, they improve. Huh? NXT is not just a coin, it offers a decentralized asset exchange, it's much better than what Bitcoin had to offer, which was just currencies on a centralized asset exchange. Uh, this is a currency on a decentralized asset exchange. NXT is much better. And the same for these anonymous coins, um, whether it be Dash or uh, Monero, or you have other solutions also. Um, 
they are better than Bitcoin. They are much harder to trace transactions, and that's what dark markets want. Um, uh, and that's the vulnerability of Bitcoin. Um, and I would also like to add, like for storage, I think, like the storage value is very important like cryptocurrency yes it is all new it is all very speculative but if you just look at the properties some properties of money or some monies have better properties than others huh? and that's just you can see that like you have to look at the inflation rate huh? how much extra currency is coming on the market every year that's a fact you can count that measure that huh? and if the it's the best one, in my opinion, is one that does not go up. The way the current supply does not go up. I mean, it's a, there is no like it is not scientifically proven here, eh? but that's the money that I prefer the most. Eh? Is where the supply does not go up, um, and so um, with Bitcoin the supply goes up. It's currently at about ten percent per year goes down over time but that's not so good for me I and all the others is the same huh? um, even clam even proof of stake coins like bit shares oh they don't have inflation uh, constant inflation but they inflate by launching new assets constantly but for example clams who is also 100% proof of stake they do have an inflation rate um, uh, built in and I don't think it's as good so for me to store value NXT has the best properties which is zero inflation um, mm, so there too I think like if I have to choose between Bitcoin to store my value or NXT I choose NXT so I think NXT is losing their also uh, sorry Bitcoin is losing their also market as the best store storer of value but Bitcoin is gaining markets, uh, for example, merchants. Like, it's just, when I promote cryptocurrency to merchants or in the street, I talk about Bitcoin. So, it's, I'm, like most people, I'm really helping Bitcoin to get that mar market of merchants. So, <laughs> other coins, I don't know, but it's fair. It's, it's, uh, it could be that it's going to take this decades before other cryptocurrencies will uh, will will be able to take over that market um, Bitcoin is really strengthening its position there so yeah there are positives negatives um, to each of these things but one thing is for sure Bitcoin tarts will not make as much money as people that are able to look at the positives and the negatives of each cryptocurrency you know and pick out the best ones with the best risk reward ratios I think you will do a lot better there and currently the opportunity is not if you look at the crypto sphere it's not in Bitcoin it's in the altcoins who are really really valued ridiculously Dogecoin 10 12 million NXT 10 million uh, that's just nothing you know it's nothing compared to Bitcoin. So I think the opportunities are there, same with Clumps. Even though it's more new, I mean, they already succeeded in having uh, yeah, a unique selling proposition. <clears throat> and the value is also, um, well, currently the Clumps in circulation is 1 million. Uh, the total market cap is only 1 million, but there will come a lot of more Clumps in circulation. So if you count all Clumps that will come in circulation, because currently there are about 600,000 coins in circulation, but in total there are about 14 million coins that will come onto market. Uh, and then you have also constant inflation rate. Uh, so if you count that way, the market cap is already 10 million. So I wouldn't say compared to NXT, I think it's overvalued, but compared to Bitcoin, it's highly undervalued. Huh? Uh, the same with Dogecoin, I think compared to NXT, it's like not cheap NXT is the cheapest because Dogecoin has not as strong fundamentals as NXT but it has a lot more transactions than NXT 10 times more per day so and it has a lot more brand uh, name recognition Dogecoin is much more known than NXT so you can make a case that it's more valuable than NXT 
But what I'm afraid of is like hype. Hype is very dangerous. It's just short term and it, hype can go over. And I'm still afraid that Dogecoin is a lot of hype also. Not like uh, not supported with strong fundamentals. In the end, everything you can do with Dogecoin, you can do with uh, uh, Bitcoin. And so that's a problem. Um, for me, the, the anonymous coins, it's an opportunity, but Monero is proof of work. I think that's a major, major fault of them. Um, I mean, that period is over. Uh, I, I really don't get why they just choose the proof of work coin, uh, oh, but okay. Uh, but dark coin, the same dash is also proof of work. So we'll have to see who's going to win that race. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm following. So. This was an especially long video um, uh, of uh, uh, almost an hour. Um, I I'd hope it was useful um, and I hope it helps you to uh, uh, form your own opinion and uh, place your own bets. And uh, I wish you all good luck and uh, a great summer. Bye.